So what we're going to be looking at today is just being able to use your calculator to find this correlation coefficient. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have these notes out in front of you and a calculator up there as well. So the first thing we have to do, like all statistics, is we have to get our calculator in statistics mode. So if we press mode and we go two for statistics, normally we're looking at one variable statistics and in this case now we're going to look at two variable statistics. So we need to press number two. And now you can see with number two I get an X column and a Y column come up. And that relates to this table here where my height is my X column and my mass in this case is my Y column. So if I get my calculator back up again, what I can do then is I can start putting those numbers in. So the first number for my X column is 187, press equals, and then I've got 182, and 183, and another 183, and so on, and so on. So once I've got all my data, and I can look down the side and say, well, I've put eight sets of data in because that's my last number, and then I can just go up to the top and across, and then I can start putting my Y data in. So the first number I'd be putting in is 95, and then 84, and 93, and then 91, and so on, and so on. Now once all your data is in the table, you just do your statistics as normal. In terms of, we've always pressed clear, so we're going to press clear. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do shift, one for statistics, like we normally do, but now we're going to look for five, which is regression. So five, and in here there's a whole lot of information but what we know is we're looking for our correlation coefficient and we know that has an R value, so we're going to press 3, we're going to press equals, and you can see that the, coefficient, co the correlation coefficient is 0 0.62561, so we would say that it's probably a moderately, moderately positive correlation, I wish I could speak properly, moderate positive correlation, and the correlation is to two decimal places, 0 0.63. So I hope that makes it very clear how you can put all your information into your calculator and get the correlation coefficient. Um, if you have any questions, watch the video again. If not, we'll see you in class.